National Security Minister Dr. Bernard Nottage says the police force has taken additional steps to shore up the electronic monitoring system, though he didn't disclose those measures for security reasons. He was responding to a question seeking his feedback on the suggestion from ICS Security, the company contracted to manage electronic monitoring, that the movement of those persons outfitted with devices should be restricted. Um, I'm not aware of any additional uh, recommendations that they, I don't know who they made the recommendations to, but th there was some time ago they made, when we were having discussions about the efficacy of the program, they did make recommendations which we uh, accepted. And recently they've also been offering, uh, or they, they sought to offer to us additional services that they claim that they are able to um, provide but uh, we haven't had any discussions about that, nor have we been in a position to move on, on their suggestions. Now, Dr. Nottage explains what he'd ideally like to see happen with those in the electronic monitoring program. We would like a system whereby either they are denied bill, which we understand uh, is not going to happen, or where there are restrictions placed on them as to the times that they can be out, as to the area of the, the island that they can frequent, uh, so that uh, if they do not uh, comply with the restrictions, uh, then they can be taken back into custody, because it appears that many, if not most, of the serious crimes that are being committed and the people are concerned about are being committed by persons who are being electronically monitored.